Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, YouTube. So, here we have on this old Jeep Cherokee, the lug nut actually broke off. The stud didn't break, the lug nut broke. Can't get a socket on it, can't get a nut buster on it, there's no way you're getting one of them grippers on it. You gotta drill it. I've drilled probably a hundred studs in my lifetime now, and every one of them, if you got good drill bits, you'll get right through. Don't sweat it, don't shit your pants, don't freak out. I uh, was actually just talking to a buddy of mine last week that had this problem on a Chrysler he's working on. And, and I told him the same thing. Don't sweat it, just drill it. And funny, I'm working on this Jeep now this week. He comes in from a friend of mine, another customer. And another same problem. So figured, you know, record a video and post it up, let everybody realize. If you've got a couple good dr drill bits, there's nothing to worry about. Make sure you start drilling centered. Most of the studs already have a taper on it, so it goes right in. But make sure you're drilling centered. Start with like a 3 16 drill bit and work your way up to like a quarter inch to a 5 16 3 8 Go in between wherever and then finally get to a half inch and pop, the lug nut will come off. Now, here I am looking for my tools now, working like a jackass. I got to reorganize and clean my whole shop. I just get lazy after each job and throw everything in a pile and get back to work the next day. But so it's really not a big deal when you have a broken lug nut or even a broken stud. You just hammer the stud out after the wheel's off, take the brakes apart and change the stud. 90% of the work on a car anybody can do. I don't like drilling in the slow speed. I don't go full throttle second gear, but I go a little bit. First gear is way too much torque and you'll snap the bit. Well, I'm doing my pilot bit. Nice 316 center hole, close enough. And time to move up. 3 16 to a quarter inch now. Start small, go bigger, work your way up. So, it's tough after you get the pilot hole and a good bit for the second one because it grabs right away, but it drills right through. <laughs> Done. I already drilled all the way to the bottom now. And now, look at that chip. Dave would be proud. <laughs> that is a long chip for a hand drill. Got damn right. But, uh, yeah, if you tried drilling a half inch hole, you'd sit there forever. You, because you're trying to chisel off the width of that bit the whole time. And if you start small, you're just taking off little bits and it chews right through in no time. You don't need any down pressure. You just got a nice sharp set of bits. Spend the money. Spend 20 bucks on a set of bits and do this versus spending 300 bucks at a shop to get it fixed. It's worth the money, even if you throw the bits out afterward. And you learn something. <sighs> but, yeah. I should be working on this right now, but I figured I'd just throw this up quick before I forget anyways. This is a short video. Five minutes. Maybe seven. I don't know. Here I go drilling. As you can hear, this isn't one of my better bits. Squealing like a piggy, she shot. But it drilled. Now it needs some down pressure because it's dull. But when they're sharp, you gotta pull away actually. And you hold away for it and it sucks itself in. And you keep pulling away not to break it. And right here, the big bit. It's so hard to get it started because it just jumps around now. But once you get it in there and it doesn't grab on you, you can drill it. <laughs> Hopefully this is the only one I gotta do. I'm probably jinxing myself by talking about it because I still got, well, 18 other lug nuts to take off of this car. Uh, 
So, fingers crossed, everybody. Yeah, I'm up to like a 7 16 bit. And it grabs. Yeah, that's why I'm using second gear. I don't want to break the bit or my wrist. These fucking Makita's got a lot of balls. And I mean, the other guy's got a lot of power too, but they don't hold up. They're all carpenter's tools, and all I do is use mine for mechanics. My 3 8 impact, I use it on cars, everything, everything on equipment. And I thought I fried it when I was trying to rebuild the battery. Didn't want to work anymore because I hooked it up backwards. So I ripped the whole thing apart, pulled the silicone shit out of the circuit board, and just found one of the diodes and just said, fuck it, let me change it. It came back to life. Ah, uh, so happy. So, I got that back. Very excited about that. That's 200 bucks almost. Saved. So I can go back to abusing it again. I'm going to find a bigger drill bit now. This index doesn't have it. my shit so trying to pry the lug out seeing if I got lucky but nope gotta keep drilling I don't want to mess the wheel up usually it'll go like a little dandelion head and pop off Drilled the rest of the way. And I ended up doing another pilot so I can go a tiny bit deeper with it. <clears throat> These fucking bits are dull now. Where's my original one? It gave me like a foot and a half long chip. Oh. Anyways, I got a little deeper. Look at all the grease in my hat, loosening my hair. So, this was the last and final one. Drilled it. Come on. Nope, not ready. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment for more ideas for videos. I hope this helped a lot of people out. Don't sweat it. Remember, it's easy.